What is up guys? So today I'm going to go for a long run, pretty much gonna be my last long run before my 100k. I've been having a pretty good running week this week, so I'm happy about that. And this is my last long run before the 100k ultra marathon at Rocky Raccoon. And it's pretty cold right now. It's like in the 40s, but I'm a big guy and big guys love cold weather like this. So uh, if it does get a little colder, I might have to put on a jacket, but it is pretty cold right now. I'm pretty sure I'll warm up pretty fast. So uh, about to head out right now for the run. It's going to be dark the first couple miles, so probably won't be able to film too much. I probably, I'll try. I'll bring out a light, but uh, we'll see what we can do. So let's go. <laughs> So out here on my run, I'm gonna be testing two things on this run. My headphones, I have both the Aeropex and also the Open Run Pros. So I'm testing both of those on this run. And also some new nutrition as well. Haley from On The Run, local running store, gave me something to try out. Supposedly, but it tastes like applesauce. I'll take some in a little bit because I didn't eat anything in the morning. I do need some calories in me. So I'll test that out in a little bit. Get back, dog. Stay. Go over there. This is why I kind of stopped running on these uh, roads over here around my house because one time there was this dog that was. Uh, super aggressive towards me when I was running by. I was so scared. Luckily, he didn't do anything. The owner did come out and say, oh, he's friendly. He sure didn't look friendly when he was almost snapping at me. But yeah, pretty scary when there's a dog trying to kill you on your run. Right now I'm on like, just past a mile and a half. Things are going well, just taking it easy. My plan is to do a three hour run. It doesn't matter the pace, it doesn't matter the distance, as long as I get three hours. So what I'm gonna do is go over here, head over to the highway where there's more lights, and then uh, run over there on the side roads. Hopefully I don't get killed yet. over there either. It's either cars or dogs. Let's go. Getting a little bit brighter now. I did bring a bunch of lights out. It's always good to have something on you, especially on this. This is kind of a busy road that I'm running on, so just trust that nobody hits you, right? But the uh, sun is rising over there. It looks nice peeking through the uh, trees. See that behind me? Looks beautiful. All right, so right at just under mile three, I'm gonna take my first little taste of this nutrition. So this is what this is. This is not sponsored, but this is called spring gel. So Haley gave it to me. Supposedly made of natural ingredients, and because it has natural ingredients, it has a shorter half-life. So let's see how this tastes. So uh, this is like 180 calories, so this should last me a pretty good while. 180 calories is a lot. Usually in goo, it's about 100 calories in those. So this is where I keep my trash. You guys don't know where my pack. Yeah, it tastes like applesauce. What is this flavor? This flavor is awesome sauce. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but it definitely is apple-y. Goes down a lot easier than goo. That's delicious. I really like that. Yeah, that's that's like real food. So that's pretty good. Was it spring? Spring sauce? Something like that. The whole thing that will power me through. Some more miles over here. About to hit the highway. 
the sun is rising right now so it's gonna be a beautiful day this is perfect for me some people question why I wear shorts and short sleeves or no sleeves when I run like during right now but I'm a big guy 240 plus pounds 245 maybe so I warm up pretty quick and this is perfect running weather right now we'll talk about the weather of the uh, hundred came a little bit which has got me scared by camping out there <laughs> but as far as that sauce goes I give that a Goku runner thumbs up pretty delicious I enjoy that made it here to the feeder road this is where I'm gonna run a lot of my miles over here might try to go all the way to Beaumont well I'll probably hit Beaumont city limits but like 105 highway 105 you guys know that so here we go So I am feeling a little bit of chafage going on. It's a good thing I always bring a little bit of anti-chafage cream. So this is what I have over here. Uh, this is Trail Toes. My buddy gave me a bunch of them. So let's go ahead and put some on because I need a little bit in some areas. So you don't want to shave. Make sure if you start feeling anything you put this shit on everywhere make sure you put it on everywhere everywhere I'm telling you if you don't feel like you didn't wipe well after you went to the restroom that's how you should be feeling with this stuff on like it's in the cracks that's how it should feel so there you go put some trail toes on Ready to go for some more miles. All right, nice and bright now. The sun has pretty much risen. It's coming over the trees right over there. So you can see it now. So I'm actually feeling really good. I'm at mile six, mile six on my run. Took me like three or four miles to really get into my rhythm. But right now, I'm feeling good. Keeping a good pace for me. Of course, everybody's pace is different. Your pace may be faster, your pace may be slower. Whatever pace it is, at least you get out there and run. And that's what I'm doing today on this gorgeous, gorgeous day. Perfect running weather. I'm gonna try to go for three three hours. We'll see how that goes. Right now I am uh, six miles away from the house, so that means I have to go six miles back. So depending on how far I go out, that's how far I'm gonna go. If I turn around right now, it would be 12 miles. I want to get at least 15 or more today because it is such perfect running conditions. But speaking of running conditions, the weather for Rocky Raccoon is supposed to be pretty cold. And in order for me to save money, I always like to camp over at Rocky Raccoon. So it's gonna be pretty cold. Uh, last night, me and Anna went over to Academy and I purchased a uh, two person sleeping bag. That goes up to 10 degrees so we should be pretty comfy but that did cost me another 70 bucks and i paid 45 bucks for the uh, campsite so i probably would have been better off just getting a hotel somewhere close to huntsville 
but it is what it is. It's gonna be fun. Nice chilly start to the run. Like I said, it's gonna be about 26, 27 degrees at night and then warm up to no higher than 34 or something like that. It's a pretty, pretty cold, but those are temperatures I like because I can't do hot weather. I'm so happy that it's been nice and cool for my 100k. So we're at the mile six. I don't know, I might still hit the edge of a Beaumont 105 and then turn around, see how far that is. Should be somewhere between 15 and 20 miles. So that's what I'm gonna do today on my run. And I am doing a run walk, kind of what I'll be doing during the Ultra Marathon keeping a pretty even pace nothing too fast nothing too slow just right just like one of those just like little bear right it's a little bear in the story whatever that is. all right so i am right at the edge 105 is maybe a quarter mile that way but I have to go on the highway. I don't want to go on the highway to go over there. But it is almost an hour and 45 minutes into my run. So I'm going to take a goo. We'll see how this goo tastes. So this is the goo. There is, what flavor is this? Salted lime goo. Definitely doesn't go down as easy as the other thing I was taking. You definitely need some water with it. It just tastes so gooey. I'd rather eat the other thing for sure. Ewes are okay, but in terms of flavor and texture, I give that a meh. I mean, they're, they'll do, but if, you, if I had a choice, between that and what's this one called? This one's called uh, Spring, the Spring Gel. I definitely choose the Spring Gel. According to Brett, the husband of Haley, he's a big, badass ultra marathoner. He said a lot of ultra marathons are using those Spring Gels, which is basically applesauce. They taste great. Go down easy. And that's about 7.5 at the turnaround. So that's gonna be about 15 miles unless I choose to go a little bit further past my turn and turn on the back end of where I live. I'll add a couple more miles. So we'll see how I feel. Right now I'm feeling pretty good. Right now I'm feeling awesome actually, but still a lot more miles to go to finish this, this run. Just a reminder to never trust any cars. I was at an intersection and uh, I was crossing the road and I heard the car coming behind me. So I was speeding up to uh, cross the street before he could turn and he actually sped up. So you gotta, you gotta think that every car, every automobile is an idiot and they don't know the rules of the road especially when i'm in the middle of an intersection you probably shouldn't be turning you should wait for me to cross but it's just a lesson you have to learn being a road runner especially out here by yourself so all cars are idiots don't trust any cars make eye contact make sure to always be careful on the roads idiot car but yeah, I'm about two hours into my run. And I was thinking about my goals for the race. Like I said, I want to do about 19 hours or better, which would be better than my 100K, unofficial 100K that I did on a track. So uh, I'm thinking that's about probably like a 17 minute mile or something. I want to say, could be slower, could be faster. 
but that's what just about what it is sub 19 seems easy right now but who knows how i'll be feeling on the day of the race especially with all the hills over there there are hills at rocky raccoon i think nick bear in his video said that rocky raccoon is a flat course but even the winner of the race a few years back he said it always seemed like you're going either up or down i don't know about the new course that they, that they changed it but it's probably the same there's always a slight incline or a slight decline at least so not super flat but flat compared to a lot of ultras i think we'll get about 3,000 feet of gain if that for a 50 miler probably a little bit more for a uh, 100k and 100 miler so uh still got maybe an hour and a half more to go come home let's keep on running <laughs> in 19 minutes still feeling good uh, we'll see how far I go we'll see how far I go trying to work on on this run what I've noticed on this run as well is that when I do do my slow run or any run really especially my slower running I tend to uh, sit on my hips when I run if that makes sense I'm kind of like my form is a little bit bad I think that's why my hips during the marathon were really affecting me so trying to work on that form and be mindful to uh, you know not sit on my hips kind of put my hips forward and run and kind of tilt whatever it is i don't know all right so that's gonna be the run for today i uh, did 15 miles in three hours and 24 minutes so that's literally just going to be the warm-up for my 100k. I feel pretty good. I feel awesome right now, actually. I was starting to feel it a little bit, but still feel like uh, 80%. So this was a good run for me. Felt great. And the temperature's going to be even better during the race. I'll probably have to wear some cold weather gear, some uh, uh, some tights, insulated tights, and a jacket. Who knows? I'll probably have to take them off, but it's going to be a lot colder when we start. Today was like in the... Uh, maybe 39, 40s. So on race day, it's gonna be uh, probably in the 28 to 30s, lower 30s. So hope you guys enjoyed this long run with me and my last long run before my ultra marathon, my 100K over at Rocky Raccoon. I'm hoping to beat Nick Bear. Nick Bear, I'm coming for you. 100K versus 100 miler. The tortoise versus the hare. All right, peace. <laughs>